Hello friends, I'm going to talk about the importance of learning to uh, write Pearson Test of English Academic Writing Module. How do we work on Pearson Test of English Academic Writing Module? First step that you can take in this direction is to work on various themes or topics available. How do you uh, get to know about themes and topics? Uh, you should uh, look at the question banks available, the official uh, preparation guide of Pearson Test of English Academic is the best book to bet on. So I would suggest those who uh, get themselves trained to appear for the Pearson Test of English Academic to work on it very hard. How do they get to know about it? You can get to know about the list of topics by going to freetestpapers.com or go to Pearson website, pearsonvv.com and check exactly the kind of questions being put up there for those who are going to appear for the examination. Make a list of at least say 200 or 300 topics and have a mind map on each of those topics. What is a mind map? For example, you have a question which asks you to talk about the the importance of eliminating nuclear weapons for establishing world peace. If this is a question, how would you, uh, you know, come up with the answers? You should say what sort of steps can be taken to, to achieve the elimination or the eradication of uh, nuclear weapons. How can company, uh, com countries come together to eliminate these nuclear weapons? How does it become a threat to the world peace and what steps should we take to establish world peace as such? So create a list of ideas or rather a link of ideas one after the other and ensure that you develop a, a cohesive blueprint of the essay that has to be part of your thesis statement. It should be typed. In the very first paragraph when you start typing you have to write this you have to type this thesis statement within 30 to 40 seconds because you have less than 20 minutes to write this essay so at least three to four minutes you have to plan out what you're going to write and have clarity on the main idea that you're going to type it out so you should practice typing and then develop all the subsequent ideas you have or the supplementary ideas associated with the uh, main idea or the thesis statement in the subsequent paragraphs. Every idea should have a logical reason to support with. So all your supportive reasons have to be substantiated with the help of everyday examples available. These examples could be based on all that you have read or all that you have come to know. Sometimes it could be something that you have speculated or imagined all about. So read the topic very carefully uh, and you have to type uh, you know, your sentences without any spelling errors or grammatical errors. Most of the uh, participants have um, you know, challenges in terms of writing or typing without any errors. So um, you, you keep track on your writing and you should have a concrete ideas to uh, you know to develop and every idea has to be supported with correct reason and example you may have your own claims to support the opinions you have sometimes the question demands you to write proper examples so what kind of examples you're going to supply but that's going to be uh, very very useful to the readers so think about the readers were going to analyze. Uh, I would always suggest you to take up some sample essays, analyze those sample essays and how they have used uh, you know connecting devices or connectors to develop and uh, you know connect one idea with the other idea and how what kind of transition uh, takes place from one paragraph to another paragraph. We call it semantic transition of ideas how ideas flow through the entire essay and how could you sum up the entire essay in a short conclusion. So you have to have good paragraphing, 
and this paragraphing is all about sequencing your thoughts or ideas with reasons and lines in addition to examples and finally when you are going to conclude your conclusion has to be very effective macroscopic one whereas the thesis statement has to be microscopic uh, when i say microscopic it is a, it, it, it is a long shot of course it does point out the the, the clear track of the entire essay but subsequent paragraphs has to be very specific about the idea that they that those paragraphs are going to deal with every paragraph should have absolute idea to focus on or to highlight so that's going to be easy for you only if you start typing out your essays every day keep typing at least say five to seven essays and check the grammatical accuracy of your essays Look at the kind of cursor devices you use to express your ideas or to connect your ideas. Check the range of vocabulary you have and see whether you have used the right collocations in your essays. Check the usage of those words very carefully. You must have a dictionary of usage to verify whether the usage of all those words are right. If you're going to use, um, you know, a good dictionary, like Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary or Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary or Merriam-Webster's Dictionary would these any of these any one of these dictionaries would help you to uh, write uh, with correct usage. I, I wish I've already um, you know explained things in, uh, in in sequence and if you have any questions related to this you're free to ask me call me up or uh, you know mail me I'm there to support you. Wish you all success. Hope this video would help you to write extremely well in the Pearson Test of English Academic. Good luck to you.